Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is gold mine problem and it is a medium level problem. So the problem says that we have been given a matrix of n into m dimensions and each like each point on this particular matrix will be a positive integer which represent the amount of golds. Now we can start from any row in the first column and we can move to these three types of cells. Either we can move right or we can move uh, to the top right or we can move to the bottom right. right. So this is diagonally up towards the right or diagonally down towards the right. Now we just have to find the maximum amount of gold that we can collect until we can no longer move. Right. So let me represent this with the help of a matrix first. So let's say I have this matrix. Right. Now from each point, let's say I am at this particular point right now, I can go towards the right or I can go towards the top right or I can go towards the bottom right. These are the three possible places that I have to go. Now we can solve this problem with a very simple DP and uh, by forming the answer in a two dimensional array. So let me just first define what will be the DP that we will be using. So we will be using a two dimensional dimensional DP IJ like this right and what will be DP of IJ representing. So DP of IJ will represent the maximum amount of coins that you can collect starting from point i comma j right so this will be the definition of dpij that we will be using so for each instance or each point in the matrix for example if i am at this particular point dp of this particular point will denote what is the maximum amount of coins that i can collect starting from this particular position right so i only have three choices here so i can go to this particular point or this particular point or this particular point right so how do i actually find my answer what i can simply do is i can take this particular cell what is the maximum amount of points i can gather starting from here what is the maximum amount of cells i can gather from starting the second cell let's say this is a this is cell b and this is cell c so now i have three values a b and c which will represent what will be the maximum number of points that i can collect starting from these cells for the current dpij for the current dpij i can take the maximum of a b and c right once i have this maximum i will also collect some coins at this particular point as well or some amount of gold at this particular point as well so i'll have to add that to my answer as well so for it doesn't really matter you can either add first and then take the maximum or you can take the maximum first and then later add the value to it. So dp of ij plus is equals to the current matrix ij. So this current index will denote total the maximum number of coins uh, that I can collect starting from this particular point. And this is the coins that are present at the current point. Right. So you see in this way, I will be able to calculate the maximum number of points starting from any point. Now since I can start from any uh, row in the 0th column, let us say this is the 0th column and I can start from either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So all of the values that are present here, I will have to take their maximum because I can actually start from any of them. right? So at the end, I will take the maximum of all the values in this particular column. Now you can like easily solve this uh, problem and uh, the thing is uh, there are uh, different ways of applying dp the first method is obviously the recursive method and the second method is the iterative method so if you apply the recursive method you already know what logic you need to apply right this is this will be a core logic that you need to apply in the recursion but we are going to discuss the iterative method here because many like uh, students face problems by using the iterative method and not the recursive method right so our core logic will remain the same there are just a couple of the things that you need to understand before uh, moving on to the iterative method so iterative method is also known as the bottom up approach and why bottom up because we are forming the base cases first and then moving on to the higher bound. Now you will see that let us say this is index j and this is index j plus 1. My answer for index j or a specific column j is depending on the column j plus 1 right it is completely dependent on column j plus 1. So I need one thing for sure that j plus 1 should be computed before index j or the column j 
this is something that you don't have to worry about while you are solving the problem recursively but this is something you'll have to take care about while solving the problem iteratively right so the, you need to take care of this that you will always compute the column j plus 1 before computing the column j right so this is just one thing that you need to take care while solving the problem iteratively rest all of the things will remain the same right so let me just show you the code and uh, you'll be able to understand this in a much better way now i've initialized a dp vector of size n cross m and i've initialized some base cases so what will be this base case this is the case when i'm talking about the last column from where i cannot go anywhere right so dp of i of last column so i is each row in the last column will be equal to the number of gold or the amount of coins that are that is present there in the last column right so this is very simple now for all the other columns i'm starting from m minus 2 and going till greater than minus 1 so you see i am going in reverse order because i want to compute j plus 1 before j right so last column is already computed so last column is already computed so i need to start from the second last column that is m minus 2 now i am going through all the rows and dp of ij will be simply equal to dp of ij plus 1 right now i need to check since i want to take the maximum but before that i will have to check whether the current row is greater than 0 or not only then i can go to row i minus 1 right otherwise i minus 1 will be minus 1 if the value of i is 0 and that is not a valid case right so dp of ij should be maximum of dp of ij comma dp of i minus 1 and the column will be automatically added similarly if j is less than n minus 1 only then dp of ij will be equal to t maximum of dp of ij comma dp of i plus 1 and j plus 1 so this is represented in the case when i'm moving right this is the case when i'm moving top right and this is the case when i'm moving bottom right right and after taking the maximum of all the three cases i can just add the current amount of points to my dp of ij at the end i can initialize my answer with zero and take the maximum of all the values in the zeroth column right so this is how you can solve this particular problem and let me just quickly submit this and show you that this particular code works and the solution is absolutely correct so you see it passes all the test cases and the solution is correct i hope that you guys were able to understand the solution if you guys did then do consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really really helps the youtube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems so that is it for today till the next video drops keep coding stay safe bye bye